Hello my dear friends, welcome to English Easy Learn. Today I am going to tell you a beautiful story, but this story is needed, this story you will love it and you must know this story. If you know this story, you will not worry about. This is the story about from the beginning of the world. Please listen. Don't forget to subscribe, English Easy Learn. Once upon a time, there was a mother who had eight children. Those eight children were ruling the world, are ruling the world, they will be ruling the world. Without them, there is no English. They are the pillars or they are the kings and queens, whatever you name it. So, let me write it. Yes, please. Hey, noun. Name of anything is called noun. I hope you understood who are that eight children. Yes, the eight children are parts of speech. Parts of speech is the queen or the mother. She gave birth to eight children. The number one is noun. Noun is name of anything is called noun. Name of anything, name of a person, place, things, animals, a particular noun, proper noun or common noun, whatever it may be, whichever has the name in the world, all are called nouns. That is a naming word. For example, so like this, Pen, bag, tree, John, Ronnie, river, table, desk, road, bus, whatever it has the name. Everything is called noun. This is the number one parts of speech. Let's move on to the second parts of speech. Second one, it's very easy to get it. From noun, we will draw and make it this. That is the pronoun. Pronoun. Pronoun is a word, it's very easy, it has a long, so many kinds are there like a personal pronoun, reflexive pronoun, or demonstrative pronoun, so like that it has a big list. But what is pronoun? Pronoun as it has the name in it, noun, so instead of noun, instead of noun is called pronoun or in the place of noun, in the place of, in order to replace noun, we use this pronoun you get it so here like i we you they they all come under this pronoun you understood very good let us move on to the third one verb verb is heart of any sentence we cannot make any sentence without this if it's not there that is not a sentence it's clear and I hope you understand what how much an importance the verb has. Verb is action word or being state or performance that all says this verb. For example, okay, see here like is, was, are, be, being and can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should and bring, go, sit, stand, listen, drive, ride. So hundreds and thousands of verbs are there in this list. So if you look at verb, there are different kinds, different way we express like a transitive verb, intransitive verb, regular verb, irregular verb. We have a number of, number of different kinds we have in this verb. So let us move on to the next one so in order to make it clear verb after I have written adverb so it may come some other so you will be able to remember very easy like a noun pronoun verb adverb adverb what is this adverb adverb is a word which is says something more about a verb verb adjective or another adverb it qualifies or says something more about these three that is verb adjective or adverb is called this what is this for example she runs fast how did she run fast so if it describes the word run yes run is a verb fast is adverb so runs fast so it also describes the another adverb for example she runs 
very fast fast is adverb very is again adverb so it says something more about how did she run fast how fast very fast you get it yes so like uh, the words like verb very fast carefully slowly they are all called adverb clear very good let us move on to the next one adjective without this the world cannot be beautiful without this the world cannot be beautiful this describes noun and pronoun okay she is a beautiful girl what kind of girl beautiful girl he is the clever boy in the classroom the word clever is adjective without this is a tall building a tall tree without this adjective english cannot be beautiful this makes english beautiful and nice to listen okay for example like beautiful etc tall smart they are all called adjectives i hope you understand what is adjective very good so adjective is a word which describes noun or pronoun so that is called adjective let us move on to the next kind preposition preposition is a word which tells the position so here itself what is the position the noun or pronoun it has in a sentence so that is what is the relationship that all everything says this preposition in the preposition we have hundreds of words like in on of under below over they are all called preposition so it may be a small word but without this the, the sentence will look incomplete and meaningless for example my book is on the table if on is not there the book is table <laughs> what a funny what a funny so it's a small word but without this sentence looks funny and bad meaningless so preposition plays a very major role in english language when we talk about so let's move on to the next kind conjunction is a word which connects which connects two words two phrases or two sentences or two clauses is called conjunction conjunction which connects two sentences that's called conjunction you get it so it connects two or three or four whatever it may be so it connects that is called conjunction like and but so so it's also very easy to remember we have like a fan so do you look at this fan boys what is this fan boys so f stands for far a stands for and n stands for nor b stands for but o stands for or y stands for yet and s stands for so so they are all called conjunctions they connect i have a pen and a pencil i have a pen so i don't want your pen i like tea but my brother likes coffee you understand so it connects two words or two sentences very good let us move on to the last one that is interjection yeah this is the interjection interjection it has a many words which expresses a sudden feeling it may be a sorrow or it may be happiness for this we use like hooray alas wow what so this kind of when we are using exclamatory sentences at that time we use this kind of those goes with the so this exclamatory mark so this is called interjection i hope you understood this so let me repeat once again all the eight parts of speech please remember noun is a naming word pronoun is a replacing noun verb is a action word just to remember verb is a action word adverb is a describing word of verb adjective and another adverb that is adverb 
adjective is a word it is also a describing word which describes noun or pronoun and the next is a preposition preposition is a word it's which says the position what is the position in the noun or pronoun plays in the sentences and what is the relationship that is what the preposition tells conjunction is a word connecting which connects two or three word or sentence or phrase or conjunction that is called conjunction interjection is a word which expresses a certain feeling of happiness sorrow or happy i hope you all understood all the eight parts of speech let us meet in the next video thank you for watching bye bye take care don't forget to subscribe english easy learn